So, you want to have all the testosterone flowing through your veins while you're racing. You want to take off the training wheels. You want to just be an overall better driver. Well, this is where I tell you how to race with manual clutch. Let's talk about it. Don't fucking run away from me! Yo, what is going on guys? Kofiza here today. We're going to showcase how to drive manual clutch. Pretty simple. I'll just guide you through what I use in terms of the button layout and everything. So we're going to go to difficulty. Don't mind the Taurus difficulty. I don't really care for racing computers. Um, so yeah, shifting automatically manual clutch right here. Definitely brings out the best in you and you'll learn much better how to drive and control cars. And then go to advanced controls. And this is very important. Switch e-brake to clutch. This means that instead of using the clutch as uh, left bumper, your clutch will now be A, and your e-brake will be left bumper instead. And A is very important for clutch because now you can press two buttons at the same time. So, this, alright, for, for this car I'm going to be using is, well, the Supervan, my favorite car. And in order to shift up, just press A and B. In order to shift down, A and X. This car is a rapid fire shifting, so I put like 10 gears, which is like the ultimate transmission if you really want to shift like a rally car or something like that. I don't recommend putting 10 gears in cars, but this is the only car that I recommend putting in 10 gears for A-Class so that you can get the most power out of it. Um, if you're, if you're putting 7 gear, 8 gear, 9 gear, 10 gear transmissions, you're always going to want to shift fast. If it's just, you know, stock transmission, which I don't recommend for, race transmission, um, yeah, you just shift like normal. So always remember, always press X and A to downshift, like this, or press A and B to upshift. I know there's going to be a lot of new players that come here, and they're probably going to be looking for a tutorial like this, so this is why I'm here. So it's simple enough, this car automatically fast shifts. Now I'm gonna go to a different car. We'll go to that bone shaker that I made. This doesn't have crazy amount of gears. It has seven gears, but you don't have to shift fast. See? I mean, you still gotta shift quite a bit, but it's not as bad as the 10 gear super van. And sometimes it's better to shift near the red line that you see on the, the right lower hand corner of the screen. And yeah, that's basically it. For high revving um, RPM transmissions and engines, I recommend shifting all the way to the red, like at the end, so you get the most power out of your vehicle. And that's basically about it, about manual clutch pretty simple. Alright, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.